Welcome to the first in our series here at Studio Works of Technical Tips. This session is looking at Autodesk Inventor 2011 and a simple tip to save a few extra clicks when needing to place multiple holes at different sizes and types. So firstly I'll create a sketch and place down some centre marks where I want them roughly in position. Notice that even if I use the point alignment they aren't actually constrained in place. So initially we might want to align these along the centre line of the plate so we do this by creating a window selection around the centre marks including the part origin. With these selected, if we then go and create a horizontal constraint, these will be aligned with each other and the part origin. And you'll see this when you do show, con show all constraints. So if we go back a step and we want them all to be aligned to each other but not the part origin, then we repeat the process, just do a window select around the uh, centre marks you created and then just hit the horizontal constraint. So the reason you might create holes in this way is that when patterning of a feature may not give you the desired result. For example, if the first and the third hole were the same and the um, fourth and the second hole were the same, then patterning wouldn't be able to do this. So we're just going to finish off putting some dimensions on there. Don't forget to use your parametric dimensioning within Inventor. This will help you be able to relate one hole position to the next save you a little bit of time and uh, then we're just going to start creating the holes so again using the heads up display within Inventor we'll just pick on the centre marks that we need to create a tapped hole with so we'll pick the first and the third holes that I've already mentioned and then we'll just use share sketch to reuse that sketch and then automatically pick up on the holes that haven't already been used to create a couple of through holes. Hope you found this simple time saving tip useful. Check back soon for some more technical tips and also have a have a look at our website at studioworksltd.co.uk. Thank you very much.